Hello guys, today's video is about a brand new witch doctor build, which I'm calling the Hellhound build. It's all focused around summon zombie dogs, burning dogs. Basically, you summon this, and you just summon one giant Hellhound. This fella here is fantastic. The AI, the movement speed, the damage is awesome. It's not quite as good as Gargantuan, but where he moves so quick and his AI is so much tighter, he just smashes enemies with ease. Right, let's quickly go through the gear. Uh, I'm using Rahino Flat. You don't have to use this. You can use a fire weapon like, say, the Exosankis if you wish. Um, but personally, I love the flare just because of the homing aspect of the toads. So you could use this if you wanted to for the extra fire damage. But personally, I, I love the flare. I just love the flare. It's just great DPS. It makes the toads homing on their target. Excellent. Okay, I'm using two parts of Black Thorns for the bonus, increased elite damage, and the Vital. Uh, you don't have to use this, but it's up to you if you wish. I always use Finger Deep for the pickup breeders to keep my pets alive. And, uh, you know, picking up the self globes help a hell of a lot. Also, you want to have some zombie dog damage on your mojo, chest plate, and shoulders. Uh, for the chest plate, I am using the Syndicate for the extra fire damage. It's all about fire damage, guys, in this build. Um, for the belt, I'm using the Harrison's Waste Scar for that massive increased damage for 10 seconds. Click on an any clickable. It says here it's click on a chest. It's not just a chest. It's a dead body on the floor, armor racks, weapon racks, all that sort of stuff procs this massive damage buff for 10 seconds. And obviously, it transfers to your pets. And of course, your self DPS. Uh, for rings, I'm using a Firestone of Jordan. Ideally, you want CHD on this ring. Unfortunately, I've got a Vital roll, so this is another work in progress. Key to the build is the tall man's finger. You, you want a trifecta one like this, preferably. Preferably one with fire damage, if you can get one. <laughs> well, I've got one here with uh, an average damage roll, only 26 CHD and 6 CC. This is okay, but this is key to the build. You don't have to use this ring, you can just run just normal dogs. You, know, you can have five dogs up at, at one time, but ideally you do want to use it with this because it is amazing. It's absolutely awesome. Okay, uh, as usual, task and Theos. You want to try factor time for those, preferably guys, with a big CHD roll, as much a pet attack speed as possible. Most attack pets attack like bloody lunatics. I'm using, at the moment, two part war kill bonus for the uh, two set bonus there, reduced damage from ranged and melee by 7%. Again, make sure the shoulders has as much zombie dog damage as possible. Uh, you can have 15%, you can have 45% in total. I've got 30, I think I've got, I think I've got like 38% at the moment. So yeah, make sure it's on your shoulders, chest plate, and mojo. It's very, very important. On the bracer, of course, is fire damage with crit chance and. Uh, yeah, it's excellent. It's very, very good. For an amulet, guys, you want obviously a fire damage amulet as well. I've got 20% fire here, nice CHD roll. This is quite a nice amulet. I'm quite pleased with this one. So uh, any amulet will do. Just make sure it's got a nice big lump of fire damage in there. And very, very high CHD. Because CHD is all about for the pets. You need the Mask of Jerem as well. I mean, Mask of Jerem, guys, makes this really well. Makes the dog hit very, very hard. 98% uh, one here. And uh, that is the gear, man. That is the gear. If you wish, guys, you do not have to use Stone of Jordan. You could use the Royal Ring, the Grandeur, to activate the three-part set. You can activate, yeah, you can activate the three-part set, and um, that way you can get three-part uh, the black forms here for the extra reduced damage for at least by 10%, and also the extra first set bonus here, if you wish. But, but personally, I like the extra fire damage because I like the fire pulse of the dog or the burning dog going off all the time. Okay, as for the build itself, uh, I'm using Plague of Toads, Explosive to Toads. With the fire buff and the homing aspect of the Rahino Flare Legendary Ceremony Knife, it's brilliant. You know, it's absolutely brilliant. It's almost a 500 DPS class, you know, spell that you just spam indefinitely. And as you're spamming this, it procs Fetish Psychophants. Fetish Psychophants do hit for physical damage, but you need some extra pets. You need some, um, you need some uh, basic meat shields to block enemies. The dog won't be enough just the tank. That's why this is on the bar. And it procs it like crazy. It procs it like crazy. You don't have to use explosive toads. The best way to proc uh, fetch cycle at this moment is actually rain of toads. But I find that explosive toads with a lot of area damage works quite well. You can, you can get a lot of tanks up. Okay, I'm using the Gargantuan Waffle Protector. He is fire damage. We're stacking 80% like fire damage at the moment. So him, you know, he's going to boost his damage up a lot. I'll just pop this guy for elites. He just smashes elites in the face. He does hit very, very hard. But the star of the show in this, guys, is the Hellhound, man. The summon zombie dogs, burning dogs. 
So every second the pet is going next to a mobs and stuff, 20% of your weapon damage is fire every second. So we're buffing that up by an extra 80%, so it's hitting very, very hard. It ticks off like a general tick of about 9 to 12 mil a second to everything around him, which is great. You know, it hits really, really hard. It's very, very nice. Uh, we're using Pride on Edo just for a bit of CC effect here. So we're just casting a big group of mob. It sucks all the up. You start blasting the toads in there. The dog goes running in there like crazy and just starts cooking and doing that crazy damage. It also increases your damage by 15% for 4 seconds, which is great. Uh, Spirit Rock Jaunt, as usual for the movement speed and uh, 3 seconds of damage immunity, just usual as well. Big Boo Value Slam Dance, just for the crazy, crazy DPS, extra 30% DPS, yeah, it's pretty much a must. Okay, uh, Midnight Feast guys, so we use a Midnight Feast, you get you get one additional zombie dog, when you use the Tall Man's Finger Legendary Ring, it makes the dog stronger and hit harder, so that's why Midnight Feast is on. Midnight Feast for this build is a must, because it also increases the dog's and Gargantuan's damage by 50%. It's absolutely must, absolute must. Uh, like I said earlier, we're using fetch supplements just for extra meat shields. These guys, even though I do not have no fire damage, they don't, you know, they're physical, so I don't have no physical damage bonus. But these guys still will hit for about eight to ten million a hit, just because I've got so much CHD in the suit. So we've got lots and lots of CHD, and obviously the mask of Jerob and Task of Fears to make these guys a force to be reckoned with. Uh, we're using Pierce the Veil. Because we don't have no mana use in this build at all, we're using Pierce the Veil for the extra 20% damage, which is great. Uh, using Fierce Loyal, guys, this got changed last patch, and uh, it now gives you 30% movement speed when you're out of combat, so it makes for very, very fast farming runs. It's a great skill. And it also gives you an additional one zombie dog, so when you're using the Tall Man's Finger, it makes the pet hit even harder. Now, some people say to me, Tony, why don't you just use Zombie Hander for the extra dog and make it hit harder? I tested this between uh, this and Pierce the Veil, and Zombie is about the same. One extra dog is about an extra 20% damage for the dog. But you'd be better off taking Pierce the Veil, so it buffs everything. So it's going to buff the Fetish Cyclones. It's going to buff my damage off my Explosive Toad. It's going to buff the damage of the Gargantuan. It's going to buff everything in the whole. So overall, Pierce the Veil is the better choice. Okay, so uh, let's show you in action, guys. Um, let me just zip on over to the, uh, just so the old ruins here. There's only Elite Pack knocking around here or something. So uh, we've got Harrison's Waste Guard. So when I click on this body here, it's going to drop the DPS like crazy, like 2.6 mil now, which is okay. And just watch the dog. Look. Watch the fire, look. He's hitting for like 130 mil there. The AOE pulse going off, 15 mil. But let's try it now without Harrington's now. Let me just cast one spell to get the pet in combat. You can see how efficient the dog is in getting in combat. Look, bang, bang, bang. It's just dead. His AI is awesome. Look, you can see that AOE pulse just burning the mobs to pieces. Look, this is T5 for God's sake. This is T5 and he's going in, he's just wrecking the face. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to hit, um, hit Prior on Ado. I'm going to cast some toads. And now as the toads are hitting now, we're just going to get fetch cyclone proc all the time. So I'll pick up these yellows, I need these yellows. And look, just killing a few mobs, look how many fetishes I've got. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got about eight fetishes already, look. I've got an army of fetish already, man, because of the flare. You don't need the flare to, to, to do this build. I mean, it does, it does work better because we're stacking fire and it works, but you can just use rain of toads to spawn a shitload of fetishes. Super, super quick. Super, super quick. Okay, so let's go down here. There should be some elites around here sometime. Let's some elites here. Got any elites? Let's go fight an elite. Oh, we're going to elite. I know it's going to elite. We're spawned one off a shrine. We're spawned one off a shrine. So let's go to uh, Act 4. Uh, Highlands go. There's always a shrine here which you can pop to make the guys uh, pop out. Okay. Oh. Alright, so these guys kill these quickly. Lovely! Alright, let's go down there. Oh, there's a chest here as well. Nice. Got a nice chest. So let's just spawn these extra elites. So we hit Slam Dance now. Pour on an Edo. We'll just pull back. Oh, there they are. And they're dead. You see how fast? It's just incredible, guys. It's absolutely incredible build. I love this build to bits. It's not quite as survival as my old build. I still need some more VIP. You know, ideally, I need a VIT roll on this mojo. I need um, a little bit more VIT in the suit overall. It's pretty much, to be honest, I just need a VIT roll here. This mojo ain't particularly great, so I don't want to spend too much gold on it. But, um, guys, the build is solid. It's absolutely solid, and it works well, and it's fun, man. Because the amount of us who stack your fire damage, we're using the Gargantuan, and the Gargantuan was just, right, 
not going to the target half the time. Don't get me wrong, the Gargantuan is an absolute beast in combat. He can hit extremely hard and kill multitudes of mobs very, very quickly. But because of the AI of the dogs, the AI of the dog, with Torman's Finger especially, you know, it's just so efficient. It's so, so good. And the dog is virtually indestructible. Yeah, you know, I've never seen this dog die yet. The most I've seen him drop down to was 95%. And he was fighting like four elite packs. It was absolutely crazy. But you can see that AoE fire, AoE pulse. So we pop Harrington's here, push the DPS up. And he, look, he's, he's just efficient. He gets in there. He doesn't fuck around. He just, he just, he just, he <laughs> just kills basically. It's awesome, and it's fun. And you don't need no Zuni Master to do this build. You know, you don't need no Zuni Master. If you've already got a task of Theos and a mask of Jerem and a bit of fire gear, you're already halfway there. You're already halfway there. Let's pop this. You can just see how efficient that dog is to kill him. Look, he's just zipping around. And he just wrecks face. Look, he's just there. That that fire aura he's got is awesome. It's very, very good, awesome. I'll be doing a poison version, guys. A poison version of this build quite soon as well. For single target, rabid dogs is really, really good. For single target, so that'll be the next uh, video coming up very, very soon. I just need to get a few more uh, poison gear to set this up, and uh, yeah, a single target DPS version of this will be coming out in the next few days. Next few days. Okay, let's just finish off this shrine, and boom, it's all done. Nice man, very nice. And we might as well finish off these fellas as well. Look at that, they're dead already. So I didn't pop the Garg there. The dog just wrecked those elites. I didn't see what damage that it even did because it died in absolute seconds. Absolutely astounding, guys. And there you go, guys. The Hellhound build for the Witch Dodge. What do you think, man? As usual, guys, if you've got any uh, questions, stick them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. And as usual, guys, please like and subscribe. And have a great day, man. Have fun in change. I'll give it guys out, man. And try this absolute beast of a dog. It's awesome, man. Hellhound! <laughs> yeah, man. Try it out. It's cool, man. See you guys soon. Cheers.